to head into the kitchen with Victoria and Chef John Matuiko from NCCC. Uh, what are you guys up to? We are up to duck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of people do this for the um, Christmas season, the holiday duck. Yeah. So. John, Chef John Matuika from NCCC, you got your duck right there. We got, a, we got a Long Island duck here, and what we're going to do today, we're going to spice it up with just some basic stuff that's going to be in your cupboard. We have... Um, okay, I'm going to go on this side of you okay, so you can get we closer got, uh, to the duck. Just uh, some paprika. Okay. Pepper, salt, uh, garlic powder, garlic salt, and a little coriander. Um, Long Island duck, is it really a Long Island duck? Is that, well, is it's, that it's, just a, it's a wild duck, uh, and we are, um, we are just going to uh, spice it up and uh, give it some flavor. And uh, as far as the Long Island duck, there's uh, Muscovy duck, there's Mallard, and uh, this is a Long Island. So can you get duck just at, like, the you, supermarket? You can get it, yeah, you can get it at the supermarket. It's probably going to be in a specialty aisle, so uh, you have to look around for it or call ahead. And see if they have it available. Order it in advance. Yeah. yeah I have to tell you. Federal Meats um, might have it also. Oh, really? Or yeah. a butcher shop or something yeah. like that? I'm not really a great fan of duck just because sometimes it tastes so gamey. Mm hmm Is that common for a duck? It's common. Uh, like, now, nowadays, it's not going to be as gamey. You're going to get uh, more farm-raised duck. So it's not going to be as strong. A lot of preparation? Uh, you know what? Keep it simple. You, you can do a lot of different things with it. You can, you can stuff it with different aromatics, vegetables, fruits, things like that. Today, I just want to keep it simple, spice, and uh, keep it uh, in the shape. And I'm going to give you a little trick about that, too, like how to keep it in the shape of, uh, like of a, the a, duck. Of the, of the of duck the instead of like flattened out. I do love a pressed duck. Yeah. Um, how long will you have to give yourself in order to serve it for dinner? Um, I, what I like to do, I like to open the package, because it's usually uh, in a car back package. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I, I, um, I like to let it air dry in the refrigerator okay. and let some air blow against it, uh, wash it out well, uh, pat it dry, and then put it on a, a rack and let the air blow like against it. Like we're doing it. now. Yep, we're, I just have it at room temperature now and let the air blow against it so it dries out nice. Okay, when we come back, our next segment, we're gonna get started. Okay. On the duck. Right now, though, we're gonna send it out to our web, web producer. Welcome back, Emily, and uh, what are you talking about right now? Good morning, well, Victoria and Chef John are about to get started on that roasted duck, so let's head into the kitchen. Hey, guys. Hey, Amelia, okay, Chef John is going to teach us how to clean up the duck, how to hey. make this less fat. Yeah, uh, take some fat out of it and let the fat you know, absorb off the duck, and so it's a little bit leaner. And you're also going to teach us, like everybody during the holidays, how to keep its shape? Keep its shape, and <laughs> keep it a nice round shape to it okay. while it's cooking. Like I said earlier, uh, a lot of times people like to stuff the duck with, uh, like, uh, fruits or vegetables, uh -huh. and it'll give you some aromatics. What I like to do today, we're going to uh, lit around, we're going to um, rub it down on the inside and the outside with some spices, but right now what I like to do is just show you a couple different things as far as, like, trimming it up, and getting some, getting some of the excess fat off of it. First of all, like in the back side, you get a little excess. This is actually, you know, how the, the duck is, it's thick right? Thick skin. Yeah, it's thick skin. So what we're going to do, we're going to take some excess fat off the back end, right? And you always leave the skin on a duck? Well, you yeah, you want to you keep the skin on because it is fat is flavor, but you don't need so much excess fat. Okay. Okay, so what we can do, we can take some of this fat and just put it off the side there. All right, and also we're going to take the wings and we're going to use these later for. See that? Yeah, I and saw we're going to use these. <laughs> I wings. heard it too. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of meat on the on the wings. Right. There, it, it's a lot of flavor, but not a lot of meat. So we're going to take the wings off and we're going to use that in our second helpings, and we're going to just cut in between. When you buy the duck, does it come with uh, like some of the turkeys or something with everything yeah, the, in it? Yeah, like you, the you call them the giblets. Yeah, yeah giblets. <laughs> and uh, in the neck, and the neck is like, of course, with the duck is a longer neck, and there's a lot of flavor in there. So we get the, Save that the too. yeah, we have the the neck, the wings, and we're going to use that for our second helpings when we do a chicken or a duck stock later. Okay. Okay, and then excess fat down here, take that off. Just trim it all up. Trim it all up, and this fat here you can render down, and you can utilize that on your vegetables, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later, too. And the time has gone by already. Okay. We are going to come back, show us how to stuff it, and then finish up our duck Correct. in our longer segment. All right. Chef John, thank you very much. Amelia, back to you. We have food and the sort. We're going to head back into the kitchen now with Victoria and Chef John as we finish up our duck. Hey, guys. That's right. We are cooking up the duck 
You've got it to this point where you cut off the fat, yep. and now you're yep. going to start uh, spicing it up. We're going to spice it up. Uh, if you can help me here. Absolutely. And a nice little bowl here. So a little salt. Get the tablespoon of salt. Okay. Uh, garlic uh, powder. Garlic salt. Uh, smoked paprika. Ooh, smoked paprika. Does it smell good? Oh, yeah. Uh, coriander. And black pepper. And if you can just mix that up a little bit. There you go. I'll do it with my hand. Get a little spoon there. What I'm going to do while you're doing that, I'm just going to make some just gentle slits into the, into the fat of the skin here. And what that's going to do is it's going to help release the fat. And also, we're going to take that spice and we're going to rub it down onto the duck. And the flavors of your spices are going to embed into the skin and also into the meat. So the fat kind of cooks up the spices? Yep. And it, 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 this is a dry rub. So, right. you know, it's going to make a little uh, extra crust. And we're going to massage that into it and also into the cavity. So into the cavity we go. All right. Hello. Is it echo? <laughs> hello, hello. So we're going to rub that down. Let's get the other side. You don't slit the other side. No, other because side. It's, it's, it, it's very lean on the other side. On the breast side, you get more fat into the skin, all right? Should you cook the duck on a wire rack so the fat yes. seeps Yes, and it, keep the pan shallow because if, it, if it's more uh, encapsulated, it'll keep the moisture in. We want to get the moisture out and the fat to uh, render off. Now we're going to take a piece of parchment paper okay. and we're going to crumple it up. And what this is going to do is also absorb some fat. And like I said earlier, it's going to keep its shape. See that? I see it. Nice and round, okay? So now this, we're not going to truss, meaning keeps it, uh, keep it all Close. together because that'll keep the moisture in there. We want all the fat to render off as much as possible. And that is the contrariness to baking a, a chicken, chicken or yeah. turkey. A chicken, you want all the moisture in there. You know, this, it's going to keep moisture in there, but it's going to be a quick uh, roast. Okay. So it's 500 degrees for the first like 20 minutes. To get the outside crispy. Yeah, to get the outside nice and cr uh, crispy and uh, nice crust to it. And then the rest of the time, you want to do uh, 350 for about an hour, 45 minutes an hour. How can you tell if a duck is done? 165. I thought you were going to say ask it. <laughs> 165, that's like what that. the thermometer yeah. should say? With the thermometer, you get one there, you get one there. You've got them all over. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to pop that in the oven and we're going to take the one out. 500 for the first 15 minutes? Yep. And then we're going to take one out, of course. Good magic. Magic of television, of course, right? Well, what if you don't have a wire rack or this special kind of pan? Can you, can you do um, anything to kind of jimmy rig one? Yeah, what you could do is actually take a pan and you could... Um, Put it take, on a take, some on, take some onions down, like oh, a bed of onions. Lift it. Yep, you can take some onions and put that down, and then put the uh, the duck on top of it, and it'll. It, you need to get that fat off of it. So it has a place to drain. Yes, okay. correct. All right. Good. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to wash my hands real quick, and we're going to break down the duck, and we're going to present it next, right? So, yep, I'll take that, and Doctor? I'll take that, <laughs> and. There we go. Wow. So look at that. You can move that for me. And it I has will... less fat than I thought left in the pan. Yeah. I thought it would actually be a little bit well, more. Well, I, I, I kind of like took some and I put the fat onto our vegetables over here. And I used the oh. fat for flavor on the vegetables. Mmm. Good idea, huh? Good idea. Okay. So next we're going to do is we're going to look at that nice and crispy. And we're going to get right in between the leg and the thigh, and I got a boning knife here and a slicing knife. So we're going to do this, and look at that. Wow, that's that's awesome. Beautiful. And let's get that right over there. Look at that. So you're just kind of, you're not going to piece it up. You're just kind of I'm going to I'm going to oh, present it on, if you want to bring that one over, and we're Look going to yeah. asparagus and some. What do you have? Like harvest uh, root vegetables. You root have vegetables, carrots roasted and... root vegetables with the with the duck fat. So that's kind of like our second helpings, also. Okay. Doing that, and then we're gonna take down along the breast. And we're gonna slice that up too. Okay. So with the with the leg and the thigh, you want to get right in between the ball joint there. We've got about 20 seconds left. Okay. 
Uh, you know I'm going to leave you to keep cooking, and then uh, we're going to show the <laughs> yep. perfect duck presentation for Christmas we'll dinner a, when we come yeah, back. Yeah, we'll do the second helpings. Second helpings with what's with the left carcass, over. Yep. Okay, we are taking a break right now, and when we come back, Amelia's going to take one last look of our day's weather, so stay with us. This will likely never happen that I've got the platter that I just cooked for Christmas dinner. So I'm just going to hold it and memorize this. This is what the di duck dinner is going to look like. Isn't that very Christmassy, very festive? Beautiful job. Thank but you. if you have the tar carcass left over, don't throw anything away. Don't make throw it out. Stock the, with yeah, it. you got to make stock. Always make stock. With chicken carcass, duck carcass, duck is so flavorful. But with all that excess fat, what we did, we rendered all the fat and we put it onto our, our vegetables. So that was the, those are the wings and the those skin, Those are our wings skin. and our, uh, the excess wow, fat. I can smell that. Yeah, doesn't it look awesome? Mm -hmm. Then we, what we did earlier, we got some necks and wings. How do you wings. get extra necks? Oh, because you had the two ducks. <laughs> yeah, I had two ducks. So, okay. so then we had the wings in there. <laughs> then we got that excess fat for our vegetables. And then we have the carcass going into the stock. Now with the stock, let the carcass simmer in about a gallon of water, once one carcass to one gallon of water Okay. for about two hours. Can you just put it in a crock pot? No. Oh. You need a simmer temperature, 185 for like a simmer temperature. See how it's simmering? I'm glad you told okay. me that, yes. Okay, so you're trying to extract all that nice flavor. Then after two hours, you're going to put vegetables in. Raw vegetables, celery, carrots, Celery, and carrots, onion. and onions, aromatics, right? And then over there, we get some thyme. And some bay leaves no in that little cup. Yep. And we're like going to let that simmer. Drop these in? Yep. Three of them? Yep. And then we're going to let that simmer for another hour to two hours. You smell that already? The, I like do the smell aromatics. It. How long will um, uh, stock last if you stick it in the refrigerator? In the refrigerator, a week. Okay. If you put it in the freezer, you got a month or two. You could put it in the freezer? Yeah, put it in the freezer and put it in small containers. You could even put it into like Plastic? little four ounce containers like this and freeze it and put little uh, caps on it. Then you don't, you only need a little use bit at a time. Yeah, use it sparingly for like sauces or soups and that would be so much flavor, you know, for your for a, a duck soup instead of a chicken soup. Merry Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas. you so much. We've Thank had you. fun. My first duck. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, back to you.